Hello, the game has started. It's me to go first. I have a, a non bingo rack. I've got high scoring tiles and duplicate eye. So, how to play through this? It looks too good to change. I think a play of rich would certainly be better than changing. But I think jig's even better because the remaining four tiles have some some synergy and I don't think there's a five letter play beginning or ending with the J. Great, I draw the blank. Only one vowel. So there may not be a bingo here, but my first thoughts are to consider the blank as a vowel. So what about pharmic? I think pharmic may be good. But I'm not totally sure. Can't see anything with the E, an anagram of chimper. Morphic, again, looks pretty plausible. And I can't see anything with the the with the blanks of U. I think Pyturim is good, which plays in column eight. Not getting tripled though, and I have some doubt about it. Can't see anything with the J. Now, do I have something with the G? Fint, don't think that's good. Great. So, which of my possibilities can play? Pharmic, Jig only takes an S, so Pharmic doesn't play anywhere. Morphic doesn't play anywhere, so I'm just left with Pyturim. Let's see, let's have a go with this. I'm certainly thinking of something. And it's not the end of the world if it comes off. Just waiting for this to be challenged. Should it stay on? I have not got a great rack, but I do have an S. Still waiting for this to be challenged. I'm not sure if there are any five vowel eights with these tiles. There could be. I've got the ostia and osteo prefix. So osteo martyr is good. Great. Not Pyturim not challenged. Maybe it's good. So what to do here? I've got no scoring tiles. So I'm but I could just play Joe and Om. That's not great. I'd like to play off an A and an O. Can I do that using the M? Sorry, using the J, either vertically or horizontally. A and O with the J. Well, Jato, that's burning the T. However, it's not putting a vowel next to this triple letter square. Can I do any better than that? And I'm looking around at the scoring tiles on the board. So what about a play A-M-O? That's not a word, but maybe I can extend it to one. Can't see a way of doing that. Do I have a double double through the H? Don't think so. So Jato and Jota both playable. This is opening up. Wow, this isn't good. This is not good. 17 points. I must be able to do better than that. Not a, not a better score, but a better score and rack leave and I'm thinking about changing a double o seat is a pretty good four letter set so can I play a double o anywhere don't think so but I am going to change because I like the four letter set I didn't like what I saw after Jato Okay, so nauseate through an A. I'm not sure about a seven here. 
austenite through IT. No scoring tiles on my rack, but a much more tractable rack. I could play J, E, U and M. Now, do I? Well, I do have Mansuete, but Gar isn't good. And I think I have Uneaths through the H. But is there a 7? And what about Juniates? Or Jaunties? It's possible that both of those are not good. Jaunty could be an adjective. So the, the play that I'm most sure of at the moment is Uneaths. Now what about a play through the C? There could well be one. I'm not seeing it. I don't think Juniates is good. Now what about the G? Tunages. Well, that doesn't play. Does Tunages have an anagram? Not that I'm seeing. This is a quite a high probability rack, so all of the bingos I'm looking for are ones which are high probability. Great. Uneath remains available, and I'm sure of that. Well, I'm more sure of that than the others. Yeah, I think that looks good. 72 points. And that is a good pickup. I have Rodinal through an N, although this N of Uneath is not quite available. And that may have an anagram. But is there a 7 here? Not that I'm seeing. Can't see anything through the J. The M doesn't look particularly hopeful. Nor does the G, Goliard plus an H. So now for the floaters in on Eaths. Can't see anything with the U. The N is Rodinal, but it doesn't work. I don't see anything with the E, and the A isn't available for a bingo. Okay, so not as good as I initially thought. However, my H can go underneath the S, and underneath the A of Uneaths, to get tripled. No new floaters by my opponent. And he takes out the N, in case there, there was a, an anagram of Rodinal. So what do I play off with the H? I could just play HO, keeping Drail. But Drail doesn't feel a particularly good five letter set. HOU. HAUD. Let me see what this looks like. I quite like splitting up the D and the L. But this rack leave is worse than Drail. But 33 points is good, and this, this is giving nothing away. I don't think Howd is good, H-O-U-D. However, what is good is Uri. More points, and this rack leave looks or is better than Royal. So, I'm going with this, and again, this gives nothing away, apart from the S. Hook for Uri. Not great. So, duplicate tiles, no scoring tiles, I don't have a bingo here. I was just wondering if Toodle worked. Ah, Toodled works. Great. That will certainly sort the rack out and score well. Could well be taken, not too many opportunities on this board. Now what if Toodled is blocked? And it's not. Fantastic. And Toodled also takes out the triple-triple 
possibility in column 15. Toodle to 35. And that is a good pickup. I may not have a bingo, although oxidable is good were there to be an I. However, it's a balanced rack, no duplicates, and I've got the X for score. I thought for a moment I had bows through the U with the X tripled. It stops one square short of that. Now, is there a bingo here? An anagram of lead box or an eight-letter play containing these tiles. I've seen oxidable. I haven't seen anything else. Just looking at the floaters for inspiration. Can't see anything. So I have X owed in column 15. I have ox, X and low. That's much nicer. The play of box would leave quite a decent rack leave. I'm going to challenge this. I'm not sure if Pichurim, well, either if it's good and if it is good, I'm not sure if it takes an S. Well, I guess that's confirmation of Pichurim being good. Nice bingo by my opponent. Annoyingly, he's stolen the second blank. Now, what can I do? Ah, oh, I thought for a moment the eye was in the right spot. It's it is in the right spot. Yes. Oxidable. 90 points. Fantastic. I hope it's good. And if it is, I've drawn another good rack. I could have another bingo. But do I? Quite a few floaters to consider, which is nice. The vowels on the board not particularly useful. I, I have a, a seven here. I have aviates, and that plays in row K underneath the E of fibrose. Does it play anywhere else? I don't think so. So, do I have an alternative bingo? Aviates will open up a triple-triple, which doesn't particularly bother me. My opponent's provided a new spot for AV8s. But a lower scoring spot, so not one I will be availing myself of. Now, I have Salivate, which my opponent has just blocked. Does Salivate have an anagram? Maybe. Although it's unlikely to play, but were it to play it would score a lot. So what about the B? Can't see anything. The A doesn't look promising. There's nothing available top left. V can't see anything. The A not likely. The N's going to score less. The E's not good. Can't see anything through D and D. So I have AV8s for 72. And another good pickup through an N I would have in orbing. I've just blocked that. Just. So is there an alternative bingo here? I've only had four bingos so far. 19 tiles left. A wide open board. Can't see anything with the S. I would have Bay Noir through an A and an E. And I nearly had that. If that T of Aviates had been an E, I would have had Bay Noir in column 13. Now, Ab Origin is good. Does that work through the A of Oxidable? No, it doesn't. And I've blocked it through the A of Pavan. My opponent's gone. Come back. He's back. Fantastic. So, where was I? Considering floaters. Orbiting. I have orbiting. Wow. Orbiting. Yes. Superb. 80 points. 
Now, is there a better bingo? Don't think so. And I don't think orbiting takes an S. So I don't think there are any better spots, unless there was a bingo ending in C, and I can't see one. I'm going with this. Oh dear, not a good rack. Not another bingo. However, I've got scoring tails and a vowel, so I should be able to hit through the 500 mark. Eight tiles left in the bag and seven on my opponent's rack. A wide open board. Cadenceal is good. Should I have I, A and L? The Q, I don't think that's going to get tripled. Not with my rack. However, I'm sure I can score quite well here. But how? There are almost too many spots to consider. And this is a tricky rack. It's not a, not a nice non-bingo rack because it's going to be hard not to leave a really clunky set of tiles. Let me look at the remaining vowel situation. Eight vowels out of 15. Okay, so slightly vowel heavy in the unseen tiles. But my concern is playing off an O with a couple of consonants, keeping four consonants. I don't want to keep four consonants. Now, do I have a play in row N, placing my W or Y on this triple letter square and getting doubled? 12 minutes on my clock. Can't see such a play. Five tiles in the bag, so ideally I'd play off four. So what about a play through the the U? Again, it would be nice to get a high scoring tile, my W or Y tripled. So more likely the Y. I don't think Louty is good. Don't think Nauty is good with a U. 11 minutes on my clock. Tricky, tricky rack. Now, what about a play through this O? Can't see anything. A play through the L. It's not going to burn three consonants. So what about a play through the G without necessarily getting the W tripled or the Y tripled? But playing off one or both of them. Can't see such a play. Okay, I can't play parallel to orbiting because I've only got one vowel. So at the moment I'm seeing no candidate plays. Well, I could play one T through the A, but that's for almost nothing. I could play twiny through the I. Let me see what this looks like. 11 points, but a decent rack leave. Still seven vowels to come. The O will be useful should I pick the Z up. Only 11 points. I'm, I must be able to score more than that. 10 minutes on my clock. I could keep the O and play off just three tiles, something like YWN. My Y can go underneath the F. Gosh, I think it's been a good game so far. It would be a shame to mess up with a, a poor ending. Now, what about a play in column three? Something OU. Well, I mean, that would be a similar play to row B with a U in third place, but it would score a lot more, so I don't have to get a high-scoring tile 
doubled. Now, what about Tauti, Lauti, Nauti? It's possible that some of those are good. And that would certainly score a lot more than what I was thinking about. Now, what about Toy on that? the old favourite, keeping WLT. It's burning the right number of tiles. It's scoring an OK amount. I'm going with this. Pretty horrendous. I got the GUW combination from hell. I can see what my opponent's got. A highly desirable rack by comparison, especially with the Z. However, I need to focus on my own rack. So what about, again, a play in column three, beginning with the W, possibly ending LY. Okay, I'm not too bothered this time about my opponent losing contacting, losing contact or quit. However, he has returned, so... We are going to see an end to this game. My opponent probably could have played Cadential. 53 points, nice score for him. Has he set anything up for me? I don't think so. Do I have a play getting my W tripled? Can't see anything. I can see what my opponent's got. He may be able to go out in one. I don't think he can get the Q tripled. So I think I just need to think about my own rack and score a decent amount. But not easy. I would have... My opponent's blocked bug wort, which is a little bit annoying. Three points needed to get to 500. Gosh, I thought I had another bingo there. Uh, lung wort is good so I'd need that through an N and this N is not in the right spot out growl I think is good if only my O had been in first place I would have had that okay so I need to play the W off I'm sure how can I do that If I had a D, I could play wood. Do I have any W-O-U four-letter plays? I don't. Can I get the Q tripled? I don't think I can. Six minutes on my clock. Quite a, a, a tricky end to this game. The, the game is, is clearly won. I'm 150 points ahead. What I'm struggling with is any candidate moves. I'm not wasting time trying to eke out the last point. I'm just looking for anything half decent. And I'm not seeing anything. So what about just playing through this E? I'm not even sure I can see a way of doing that. Wow, I'm completely word blind at the moment. I'm seeing nothing. So what about just playing bow? At least I'm getting 20, 20 points. And I haven't, that, that is such a poor play, I haven't even arranged to go out in two. However, what's my, what's my opinion done? He's played list. Yep, quite nice. So I can play Goulet for 12. And 
I think my opponent can go out. He can play Gao through either G. Yeah. So pass to end the game. And the final score, 376 to my opponent, 530 to me, a winning margin of 154. So a massive, massive win. Let's see what I missed. A slow end to the game, but pretty fiery for the rest of it. So this was my opening rack, Jake, the play. Opponent changes. I have Pichurim, that was the only bingo, so delighted to have spotted that. Opponent plays Tef, and this is where I changed. And you can see why Seat is a nice rack leave, but all of these rack leaves are significantly inferior, and the scores aren't great. However, I suspect many of these would sim better than the change. Opponent plays Pen, and but my change pays off. I have Uneaths, and in fact that was the only bingo. Now oh, that looks nice for my opponent. No bingo. He plays Quern. And I don't miss a bingo with this rack. I thought I may have done. And Uri looks fine. Opponent plays Pavan. Oh, wow. I miss a bingo here with Onloaded. Wow. This does not look like a bingo rack. And I did have a look for a bingo. I didn't see Onloaded. I played Toodle for 35. An inferior play. Now my opponent has a ton of bingos. He plays Fibrose. And that gives me Oxidable. Fantastic. Opponent plays Cadent. And I have Aviates, the only playable bingo. Playable in two spots. Opponent plays Weems. And I have Orbiting, the only bingo. Now I have a 200-point lead. And there's eight tails in the bag. Opponent plays key, and now uh, this is where things slow down. I have 12 minutes on my clock. There's only five tails in the bag, but I suddenly hit a wall of poor racks from here to the end of the game. And it doesn't really matter that racks are poor. What makes a rack difficult is when you struggle to see candidate plays, and that was the case with, with all of these remaining racks. So what was available here, and what did I do? So this is where I played Toy On for 24. Okay, so score-wise, that's similar to all of these, and the rack leaves not significantly different either. So Toyon was fine. Opponent plays Xyla. Now, Air now, that looks nice. Where does that play? A14. Oh, wow, through E gap EN. Superb. And getting the W tripled. I think that would have been the play. Warg A7. Yep, making open and gift. I think this is where I did something really lame. I did. I played bow. Okay, I think we just should just move on quickly. Could my opponent have gone out? Yes, he could. Well, there's the cadential play, but he could also have played Sitchula at F1 through the T. And now, girl, I didn't see that. D3. Yep, very nice through that R. And I just played any old rubbish here, which surprisingly actually does make it into this top 10 list. But I just played anything I saw, and my opponent goes out with Qua. So despite the end of the game um, being tricky on my part with some awkward racks, overall it was a fantastic game with a ton of bingos and a massive score. So I hope you enjoyed watching that, and I will see you next time.